so you will be needing a kilogram of pork rashes it says you can pan fry or barbecue but the but the um, skin of the pork likes to spit out a lot of oil so I like to grill mine that way you know the oil doesn't spit all over the stove so I'm just gonna open this Grab that with your tongs and pop that into like a nice bowl. Now we are going to need one teaspoon of motor sodium and you just spread this around on the pork. You don't have to put motor sodium in but it just makes it taste better somehow, I don't know why. And then you need Two teaspoons of salt. Next, you'll be needing a tablespoon. This is mine, and you need squid fish sauce, whatever it's called. It's squid is the brand, but it's actually fish sauce. Okay, so. Yeah, some people get confused because I always say fish sauce and everyone looks at it like, um, don't you mean squid sauce? But it's squid brand, that's the brand of the bottle. Okay, um, and then you need soy sauce, this is seasoning sauce. I want to get a bit. Oh, I've got to go over to the shops and get some more. You'll be needing at least three teaspoons, I mean tablespoons, three tablespoons of fish sauce. Okay. You need two tablespoons of the seasoning sauce you need about a tablespoon of I mean a teaspoon of <clears throat> white pepper maybe even less depends I just try and cover the pork with it and if it looks right then yeah say half a teaspoon of, of pepper then. you need to cloves of garlic make sure that they are a reasonable size and then we're gonna just chop them up really nicely just dice it into tiny pieces and then put that into the pork okay okay so the garlic's in there we've got garlic we've got fish sauce soy sauce pepper monosodium and salt so now we're just gonna mix it by hand my dad likes to use oyster sauce and soy sauce but I like fish sauce and soy sauce but yeah you can use oyster sauce but I like it this way anyway so you just mix it in um, and then when you're done mixing let it sort of marinate for about five to ten minutes and then you just put it in the grill so I'll be using my grill right here um so yeah we're gonna put it in the grill and when it cooks it should be nice and brown and the skin at the top here should be crunchy like pork crackers i'm sure you've all tried pork crackers i'm Laos thai so we eat pork crackers with papaya salad you know damakung so yeah it should it should turn out to be like pork crackers it's really really nice at the moment it's just cooking so yeah I'll show you what it looks like when it's um, time to flip the pork rashes over okay let's see if it's ready to turn oh that's so good do you see how the skin is turning Look like this on both sides, okay? So, right now I'm just going to leave that for longer until it turns darker. This one is ready to turn, as you can see, it's all crispy. So, I'm just gonna flip that over. Um, I can leave that there for a while longer, but I'm gonna flip it because the skin is really crunchy. Oh, this is. 
ready to flip. This one is ready as well. I'm going to put this one up here so it cooks faster. And I've got two more down here. So I'm going to take some of that. Put it up here. When your pork rashers are ready to be chopped, they should look like this. Okay, should be all crispy all around. So I'm just gonna put that on my chopping board. This one's ready. These ones are the ones that are ready. We're going to chop them up. You will need a plate. So get a plate and start chopping these up. into tiny pieces like this and then you're ready to go. I like to have some rice on the side. Just pop them on the plate. Should look like this. Hope you enjoy making it. See ya!